How's it going guys? Steve from Stavjet. Um, thought I'd do a quick um, little video on uh, or get uh, the channel started on the wiring sides of things. Uh, that's something that I do as a, a side business um, and hopefully I can help you guys out and give you guys a few tips and on uh, I guess how to start and on today's um, vid or app, it will just be taking you through I guess the engine harness sides of things um, and uh, the tools that I use um, and um, I guess I've just actually finished off a harness um, over the last couple of weeks it was for a 454 uh, big block it's a, a Mercruiser so it's going into a boat um, but um, we'll make this nice short sharp and sweet um it'll just be the tools in today's episode uh and then uh if you guys um yeah want, want, want some more um tips or i guess um i'll try and further the channel on the wiring side as we go so um yeah um hope you enjoy all right so run you through um this particular build 454 Mercruiser, so it's a boat. Um, we've got an Elite 2000 that's going to be controlling this. Now, this is um, set up in a batch, so we're going to set this up for batch fire, so it's not fully sequential. Um, it's got a single coil. Um, again, with these, they're usually an F crimp um, Super Seal pin and when I am terminating them onto a universal harness and I'm creating my own harness, um, this is the tool that I will use. So, um, usually these um, range from 22, uh, 20 gauge, 18 gauge um, and the likes and this is the tool that I use for majority of the connectors that you're going to see on this harness. Um, so we'll run through the grounds um, and why I have these tools here. Um, this tool here, so you'll see that it has uh, some round indents and then you've got the F crimp in between. What I use this tool for is, let me have a look. Um, okay, so the knock sensors uh, for this one here. And now these are, if anybody's paid attention, these are actually uh, for an LS2 knock sensor which will be adapted to the big block. Um, if you can see inside, there are seals, and on the end of the terminals, there is, uh, that. well, that's when I use those round indents to just crimp that seal on. So, I can also use this tool as well um, for majority of the engine harness or sensor connectors. For instance, this one here, idle air control. Uh, and then you've got this. So coolant temp may not be the same as your coolant temp sens sensor connector, but I prefer these as they're a push to seat and they have the terminals with the seals which that's when I go back to this crimper and I will butt up those seals um, now this um, for these types of terminals um, I like to go to my ratchet um, so this is what I use for anything, um, any grounds, powers, um, anything that we're gonna, I guess, have. Ring terminals. Um, this is my go-to. Now, this 
is good for engine harnesses. Um, again, I'm only speaking about the engine harness for today, but um, if you're doing rewiring up your car, battery harnesses, um, larger alternator harnesses, this crimper will um, not be fit for purpose. You will need some either form of like a hydraulic crimper um, or a, a, a normal big hex crimper which um, I'll attack in a later episode when I have a car here and um, I can show you um, what I use when I'm terminating a vehicle. So, handy to have, uh, a little flathead, real pointy, needle-like um, flathead. This is good for ditch connectors, so there's a little locking tab in there, which the pins lock into. Um, I use this to just release that tab and feed the pins out. So, always handy to have. Little soldering iron, gas. Um, don't use it for solder. I use it for um, sealing off the heat shrink. So, on all the ends you'll see um, dual wall heat shrink and then I'll seal the braided sleeving and to the wiring so this is um, the tool that I use um, all the time I can't be bothered setting up a wired um, heat shrink gun so this is handy to have just on and off all right so wire strippers um, this is specifically for Tefzel um, but works alright with the general purpose wire or PVC type stuff. Um, so many variants. I prefer this. Um, very quick and the, I guess, the blades are very sharp. So it's just a quick um, pull and we're on to the next wire. Okay, little Delphi um, terminal remover for the Metri Pack um, connectors. So here, it's very needle-like. Um, I go through a couple of these. You can see how bent and mangled that is. Um, Stanley, well. When you're unharnessing an original OG OEM loom and you've got all that old um, PVC tape and sticky as, uh, you just want to slice it, cut it open instead of spending hours untaping and unwrapping. So, always handy to have. Pointy nose. Um, what I use them for is for the Deutsch connectors. Um, taking out those locking tabs and that's what these are used for majority of the time. These little sharp precise side cutters um, when you're playing with engine harness sides of things um, I think yeah you're playing with 22 gauge, 20 gauge, 18 gauge, 16 gauge um, these are perfect, nice, sharp, and um, I also use these to cut off the ends of the um, zip ties, tie ropes. So definitely um, handy to have. Um, so we've gone through the uses of this in an engine harness connector. Okay, then we move into the F crimp. Um, so this is for your, I guess, everyday general purpose connectors, quick connectors, whatever you want to call them. Um, these, you may use them just, I guess, maybe for your stereo, I'm not sure. Um, but just general purpose, quick connectors. Uh, as you can see, the terminal 
I'm trying to focus on it, not sure. But um, yeah, you can see that it has two tangs, one on either side. And see the jaws. And when you crimp them, it's considered, well, these are considered an F, F crimp. And that's what they're used for. So um, that's usually my go to. Now, this tool, one of my favorites. Gone through a couple of these um, for the larger gauge um, stuff. So, this is a fusible link connector. Um, use this for powers, uh, I believe it can handle up to 60 amps, and these can push 20 25 amps. Um, you'll see the difference in the terminal, it is larger. The tangs are larger. So, my go to for that now, I'll move over to here because just to get an understanding on what else these two are used for, they're not just used for those two terminals. Little splices, uh, if you want to have a look, now you'll see. similar to an F crimp, but without, I guess, the female receptacle or male spade. Um, where I use those is when I'm splicing out for injector powers, signal grounds for coils, signal um, grounds for other sensors inside here. Um, and then we've got the Deutsch solid contact um, tools these are great they're set they're already preset so it's just practically just putting in the Deutsch pins and crimping um, so you got your size 20 um, for DTMs so the Deutsch DTM you got size 16 for the Deutsch DT series and then you've got size 12 for the Deutsch DTP series, now a lot larger, uh, I can fit 10 gauge, 12 gauge, 14 gauge, um, DT series can fit, squeeze in possibly 14 gauge, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, um, the contacts that I have below are actually a size 16 to I believe it's 20. Um, or 16 to 18, um, you can get uh, different contacts which have a different size that allows, um, I guess, the more finer wire um, to be able to be crimped using the larger connector series to allow, I guess, a larger amperage or current um, through the connector. And then you've got the um, DTM pins there. So. Um, when you would use the connectors, um, DTM majority um, of engine harnesses is DTM. Only time you will branch out is um, for coils, um, IGNAs, um, and, and so forth. You will branch out to the DT series, um, and then DTP if for powers. So um, fuel pumps the likes 25 amps um again that's not really engine harness type so i um didn't mention but um also always good to have a, a digital multimeter or multimeter just to test the circuitry once you've uh, gone through the harness and then just making sure that um, everything's pinned correctly i pin this um and i test each um, terminal and this is how I build my diagram for the customer. My label maker, um, as you may see, 
I've got some labels and then some clear heat shrink over the top of the braided sleeving. Um, this is my little uh, bad boy. Uh, gets the job done. And um, yeah. So um, that was the final little piece. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy. Um, uh, yeah, leave a comment. Um, give me some feedback. Um, something that you might do differently to myself. Um, any other tools that you think I should have um, on the table or on the bench in the tool cabinet. And um, yeah, just give it a share if you like it. Um, subscribe, tell your mates, tell your miso. And um, yeah, stick around for another app um, later on down the track. Cheers.